Welcome to Life That Matters, the enlightening and informative teaching ministry of Sharon Norris Elliott. As an author, educator, conference speaker, and astute Bible teacher, Sharon exposes us to God's truth and encourages us to use our God-given gifts and talents to live significantly. Get ready to learn how to be the significant difference in your sphere of influence. Here's Sharon with today's exciting broadcast. Hello and welcome once again to Life That Matters. My name is Sharon Norris Elliott and I am your host, hostess on the show. Today, instead of teaching like I've been doing for a while, I'm back to my original uh, plan and that is to interview some really cool people. So I have a really wonderful guest uh, with me who I will introduce to you in just a moment. But of course, it's after I do all the housekeeping. You are watching um, this show, Life That Matters on the Holy Spirit Broadcasting Network. And I would love for you to contact me and let me know what you love about the show. Of course, only what you love about the show. <laughs> let me know what you love. Let me know if you have a guest you would like me to interview. Um, let me know if you have a passage of scripture you would like to talk about. Anything like that, please contact me. You could do so by calling us at one 877 588 1664 when you when you call we even have a prayer line we would love to pray for you um, you can just mention the show life that matters and talk about what you'd like to talk about over the phone you can write to me at uh, first write to the Holy Spirit Broadcasting Network care of life that matters and that's at P.O. Box 68. 116811. We're in Orange, California, and the zip code is 92863. And then, of course, if you are watching on your internet, any internet enabled device, go ahead and hit that contact us button, info at hsbn.tv, and then type right in what you'd like to say. So, all of that is out of the way. I'd like to introduce you today to my guest. Her name is Dupe Alaro. I got it right. <laughs> Dupe Alaru. Um, we met over social media. Yes. Basically. Facebook. In Facebook. <laughs> another friend of ours, um, Dr. Kazumba Charles, um, who you have seen on this show before, and um, I've interviewed him. He's the one who took us to Africa. That's amazing. Oh, that guy. <laughs> that guy. Uh, you met. Dr. Kazumba. Not in person. Not in person. On social media. But on social media. Yes. Now, when they met. Dr. Kazumba said, hey, you need to meet Sharon, get on her show. What? Okay, that's how it happened. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we have met now, we're fast friends, and this lady has a lot going on, and I wanted to bring her on to let you know that your life matters. Thank you. To let you know that your life can matter. Mm -hmm. And here's the way that her life is mattering uh, for the kingdom. So... Dupe, yes. um, let's just start by you telling me a little bit about your background. Now, I understand you were a teacher. Correct. All right, so I teach high school, so awesome. this lady has found a way to stop teaching. <laughs> uh, so I'm really interested <laughs> in what she's wow. doing. So go back just a little bit okay. about the teaching and then into what you're doing now. Sure. So I began teaching in 2006. So that was my okay. first year. I taught second grade for two Aww. years. Aww. I know, I loved the it. Little ones. The little ones are the best. <laughs> Love them. Um, so I taught for Long Beach Unified School District. Okay. And then after my first two years of second grade, I taught kindergarten for two years. But I was okay. laid off every year and brought back. Okay. So after being laid off for the fourth time, I decided to leave classroom teaching altogether. Right. That that's you decided that that's ridiculous. Yes. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> right. I was just like I couldn't do it. The moving the classrooms, the moving the schools. It was it was too much. And by that time, I had already um, gotten my credentials, mm -hmm. and I was already working on my master's in education. Sure. And so um, I ended up taking a job as a reporter for the Beverly Hills Courier newspaper. Okay. And I built the education education section from the ground up oh. and then was laid off again. So five years, <laughs> five times within a five year period, I was like, okay, I think God has something else, <laughs> else in, in store. store. And okay. that's when I opened up my education company, Tutors for Tots, Tweens and Teens. Okay. So, mm -hmm. then, so 
just roll right into that. Okay. Um, what you were in school, so kids get educated. Right. In school. Correct. So what is it extra that they need that that you saw? Sure. So there's a lot of supplemental education services that we provide. We provided um, core subject tutoring in all core subjects, so okay. English, math, science, history. We also did special education services for students who may have um, ADD or they just okay. need a little bit extra assistance. Um, we also provided counseling mm -hmm. as well as test prep. Okay. So some of those services were not provided on campus. And so what oh, we did okay. was we supplemented those education services for families who needed additional resources. And you just, and you got in touch, was the school helping you? Sure. Well, the school would refer students. Um, oh, okay. For the first few years, it was kind of word of mouth. I mean, I was working out of the living room there you of go. My, my home. And mm -hmm. now when I think about it, I'm like, wait a minute. What was I doing? I had, <laughs> I had parents coming to my home and I was doing right. assessments on my, you know, dining room table. Mm -hmm. So um, after two years, I ended up opening up a brick and mortar location so okay. we were a little so bit got more your little office yes right right mm -hmm. this lady has a lot going on it's getting <laughs> hot in here okay so we're gonna have to turn the air conditioner on the studio because you have it going on okay yeah. so um, you started mm -hmm. tutoring extra services that the school was not able to provide correct right now see this is what we talk about when we talk about uh, your life mattering yes um, Looking at your gifts, mm -hmm. you see, she was able to look at her gifts. What can I do? Right. And then start doing it. That's, yes. that's the key. Exactly. To go ahead and start doing it. So what is the name of your company? So it's Tutors for Tots, Tweens and Teens. How tutors? Tutors for okay, Tots. Like, like tutoring. Yes. However, uh -huh. I just learned. Yes, that, <laughs> I was going to say that. <laughs> just a week ago, did you say? Yeah. Go ahead. Just a week ago, I decided to um, either sell my business or, or, or close the doors. Because so you're laying yourself off. I'm laying myself <laughs> off, right, for a greater purpose, okay. for a greater cause. And like you said, it's very important that we know our purpose in yes. life. It's very important that we're self-aware, mm -hmm. we understand our gifts and talents, mm -hmm. and we don't waste another waking day doing something that we don't love. Okay. And it wasn't that I didn't love tutoring and, and owning an education company. What mm -hmm. happened was... I went from classroom teacher, being right. able to be the educator, That's right. being able to see, you know, instantly the effect that I had on these students' lives, mm -hmm. right, to working inside an office hiring tutors to do the tutoring for me and then I'm disconnected no, from that disconnected learning from, right right and so over the years I started to find again what my talent was which became creating courses curriculum speaking and then video content Okay, mm -hmm. so you are moving now from like you said the brick and mortar from exactly from the storefront, mm -hmm. the, the tutors coming in and you being kind of over that. Right. To more of a digital? Correct. Online uh, company. An online mm -hmm. company. Digital, yeah. All right, so mm -hmm. let's go back a moment to um, branding. Okay. You know, that's a, that's yes. a buzzword. Exactly. Right? <laughs> um, because people might be looking and saying, you just... You just started something and you, and you taking care of your bills and mm -hmm. okay so mm -hmm. how how does someone brand right them so talk about making a brand so branding, what I like to say is, you know, especially for companies, you know, you can either have like a brand like Coca-Cola or a lot of influencers you see on social media, they have a personal brand. Mm -hmm. And so what I started to do and the reason why I was letting go of my company was because my brands were no longer aligning. Um, I became known as a speaker. I became known as a content creator and course developer. Mm -hmm. And so when you brand yourself, your audience tells you exactly what it is that they want from you. Okay. And so um, when you build a personal brand, it's very important that people connect to that brand. Mm -hmm. um, you're able to offer value. Um, and once you can do that, then that's when you're able to monetize from doing that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because, again, showing people that their lives matter. Right. That is a, that is a brand. Exactly. Uh, for me. Mm -hmm. And so I help you. I've written books I've published I have 11 books out wow uh, congratulations right? and just like you have your curriculum mm -hmm. let's say for example goal setting guide 
uh, a weekly journal, mm -hmm. ninth and twelfth grade, ninth through twelfth grade. Correct. And they're going to make their goals, yeah. right? Yeah. So this is curriculum Correct. that you have developed. Exactly. Now, can someone come to you, mm -hmm. for example, Correct. and say, you know, I have this issue, mm -hmm. let's say, and I need it in Print or some kind of form. right Correct. form. Yes. This is this is what you do. Exactly. Now, so the name, now, is there a new name for the new company? You know, the it's just my personal, company? it's just my personal it's brand. Yeah, it's me. It's okay. me. And so um, I want, you know, that brand as, you know, the curriculum queen, you know, yeah, like uh, the go-to person who knows how to structure a course. Most of the, my clients, and I work with people every single week, mm -hmm. um, they don't understand how to structure a course right. because the structure is different than a book. Yes. And so I think a lot of people assume that, you know, creating a curriculum is the same as creating a book, but it's, it's just not. Right. You yeah. have the learning outcomes and, you know, mm -hmm. you're an educator. Right. So it's, it's completely different. And I do planning sessions. Okay. So when we have a planning session and we go over everything in depth, they're able to say, oh, whoa. This is a lot more in depth than I had expected. Okay, so mm -hmm. so the per I'm trying to make sure we're clear because right. people are going to be running <laughs> to, to you when they see this program right. um, to figure out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I come to you correct because I have something I, I want to do mm -hmm. and I need curriculum correct because I'm going to have an audience. Exactly. So, mm -hmm. or you already have an audience. Or maybe I already you, have, okay. And you want to provide more value online. So you're giving mm -hmm. your audience the opportunity to learn and grow and have access to that 24 seven. Right, mm -hmm. but you're, you're the go-to, do pay is the go-to <laughs> yes. for putting that in Together. curriculum form. Right, whether it's print or digital, I'm not your girl. It. <laughs> okay, so I hope you got that. That's the point. That's what's in, that's what's important. Now you have on a T-shirt that Correct. is that is very cute. Thank you. Embrace challenge, experience change. Yes. So this is your byline. This is yeah. This is exactly. This is this is a tagline <laughs> that I use um, based on my story, and so just like you said everyone's life matters mm -hmm. life happens to us all and so during my journey all the things that i just discussed mm -hmm. you know going from one grade to the next and being laid off i was dealing with some health challenges no, i was just getting to see she jumped <laughs> I was just <laughs> going to say, segue. Right. <laughs> Tell us a little bit, mm -hmm. um, because you look the picture of health, like right now, right? So like tell us you might, you had some kind of health challenges. So Correct. you didn't just go tiptoeing through the tulips, no. through your life. No. Everything's just worked out. Exactly. <laughs> so can you no. share a little bit? Of course. And not to go too much in depth, mm -hmm. but um, people think that. Right from outward appearance, they just assume, oh, you know, she's she has it all, like right. she's blessed, and um, and I think that's why it was important for me to open up and share my story. Okay. So in November 2017, I shared my story on Facebook, mm -hmm. and it, I just got a huge amount of response. Okay. Um, a good between 500 and 600 people reached out, and they were commenting and they were telling me that they didn't understand that this was how, what I've been going through for the last 10 years. Mm -hmm. So in 20, 2008, I was diagnosed with benign uterine fibroid tumors. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately at that time, it was my first year teaching. Okay. We should always listen to our parents. <laughs> because Always mom, listen to your parents. Yes. My <laughs> mom told me um, at the time, the school district wasn't offering contracts. And so, which meant mm. we weren't getting um, no health benefits. We got the same pay, uh, no health benefits. Okay. And so my mom said, you know what? You need to go and get health insurance. And I'm 25, 26. I'm not. Mm -hmm. thinking I'm never sick right. why do I need health exactly. benefits I'm gonna waste three hundred dollars a month for nothing mm -hmm. um literally less than six months later I was diagnosed with that so yeah. I suffered I suffered for a good nine months in and out of the wow. hospital blood transfusion um luckily for me my mom is a nurse mm -hmm. and she worked in the hospital and she told her surgeon the situation that I was going through and he was like I'm not going to just sit back and watch your daughter die right so they performed an emergency surgery okay. and that was my first surgery and they removed 17 tumors incredible 17 tumors and um that time I just I asked God if you get me through this 
you know, we all been there. I know it. I know it. If you get me through this, and I was on my hands and knees, and this was probably a few days before I found out I was going to have the surgery. Okay. I told him, I promise you, I will do your work mm -hmm. for the rest of my life. And he answered my prayers. And I think that's why I jump. When I know there's something for me to do, I don't mm -hmm. hesitate. Right. Because I have that promise to him. Like, I'm going to fulfill mm -hmm. my destiny. Yeah. And um, I lived the last 10 years healthy, changed my diet. Um, unfortunately, it didn't really matter in the grand scheme of things because mm -hmm. in October 2017, I had my second surgery. Okay. And they removed 22 tumors. Oh, my God. So. You're not even big enough. <laughs> I know. <laughs> they, my surgeon said that. He said they weighed over 285 grams. And it was like a bowling ball oh, just sitting amazing. in. Yes. And so after that happened, I think that was when I was like, oh, I need to live my life. Mm -hmm. I, like, <laughs> and so that's when this brand came. Embrace, Embrace challenge, challenge, experience change. Uh -huh. And the bracelets as well. Yeah, so I was going to ask you about mm -hmm. the bracelets. Yes. So tell me about the, brace the bracelets. It says uh, on the little tag here, your adversity will bring you success. Mm -hmm. uh, Embrace band yes. by Dupay Alaru. So tell me... Tell me about the, the bracelet. Yeah. Sure. So after I opened up my story, it allowed other people to open up as well. I started getting people DMing me, calling me, texting me, telling me about their stories, overcoming brain cancer, overcoming, mm -hmm. you know, other types of cancer and, you know, losing a child and just, I mean, so many different stories mm -hmm. that I decided that, wow, they need to open up and share it with the world. We all have a story to share. Sure. And me opening up and sharing my story helped someone else do the same mm -hmm. and so I started a podcast on Facebook okay and I named it the embrace challenge podcast and so with it comes the shirts and the bracelets and what we do is I ask people you know we all have a special moment in our life mm -hmm. of transformation um, of success right. of adversity whatever it is Mm -hmm. Pick a number that's dear to you. Right. And when you do that, you go on my website and you order your bracelet. So you can get the Onyx bracelet, which is the black beads, mm -hmm. or the multicolor beads. And you choose a number and I hand make these and I ship them to you. Okay. And I wear mine every day um, <laughs> as a reminder because life happens. Yes, it does. And things, you know, you're in traffic and you get frustrated. Uh -huh. And if I look down, I'm like, nothing compares to what I've already been through. Okay. And so... Now I understand. See, she had... She baited me <laughs> with this. She sent me a DM. A, yeah, she sent me a little message and she says, Tell me a special number. A special number? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have any special numbers. And I started thinking, I get, I just started pulling right. numbers up. You right. know? And um, I thought about three. Okay, the Trinity is special to me. Mm -hmm. uh, me and my boys, my two boys, that makes three. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, and you start thinking, and right. then I thought, no, mm -hmm. the number four, mm -hmm. because both of my grandchildren were born on the fourth. Oh wow! And then my anniversary is on the fourth, so I said, well, maybe four. See, and you I, know what, Karen? And then I have a fourteen is my birthday, so there's a four. <laughs> so Sharon, I made you yours. See, look, she made so, it. Me. So guess what ah! I did? Because you gave me two numbers, you I have up. yes. So I have here the number three. And the number four on oh, your bracelet. See? So I've never I done pull, this before. I, I pulled them out. So you're the only one that has a double <gasps> number a double on number. both Thank of your. You. <laughs> a three and a four. Oh. Yes. There you go. <laughs> so now, thank okay. you. you. So now, awesome. like anytime I'm feeling just. <sighs> right. You see, it's I can look reminder. at this and I can say, ah, mm -hmm. my grandbabies. Yeah. My husband, yeah. Exactly. Okay. My boys, the Trinity. Mm -hmm. I'm good. Exactly. I got those things. I got it. Exactly. Uh, so what is your website, by the way? It is dupayalaru.com. Mm -hmm. And you can... Oh, that's easy. Yes. So okay. my first and last name, dot .com, and forward slash shop. If you want shop. to <laughs> look at... <laughs> Yeah, that, I like want, that. If you want to look at the bracelets, if you want to order yours as well as the t-shirts, or schedule a planning session to create courses. So, okay, so all if you have place. something in mind, mm -hmm. some little, um, not little, because <laughs> everything is big, right. uh, in mind. Okay, so uh, now I also mentioned mm -hmm. that I had never heard the name, wait, 
Alaru. Yes. I always want to say Alaru. You can say Alaru. it that way. I don't Alaru. mind. I know. I'm going to say it right. Okay, Alaru. I never heard that mm -hmm. surname. Yes. And you told me that you are from? My parents are from Nigeria. Your parents are from Nigeria. I'm Nigerian-American. So my okay. siblings and I are first-born generation here. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's So you're I'm... American citizen. Of course. Yes, mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. cool. You know, yes. citizenry is a big, <laughs> big deal. We got to talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> right. But okay, so do you. Um, Born get... and raised in California. <laughs> She's a California. I can tell Cali you the accent. You hear it? Okay. <laughs> and we say like a lot, so <laughs> if you haven't caught on. <laughs> Stop it. See, I teach high school. In my room, I try to make my room a no like zone. <laughs> my teacher did that. We did that too when we were in school. Right, please. Stop writing like. Stop saying like. <laughs> um, but like. No. Uh, <laughs> but, okay, so from Nigeria, mm -hmm. right? And you told me that you have a sibling. Your sister travels yes. a lot. She travels a lot. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but we were also talking about the, um, the goal. Gitter. Gitter. Yes. That comes from just heritage. Exactly. And I think like African Americans, like I don't know, I, I totally want to do mm -hmm. my ancestry mm -hmm. because when we were over in Africa, when we were in um, Kenya, there was a young man, um, there were only two, there were two African well, two African Americans mm -hmm. in the team, mm -hmm. um, and so being in Africa was like huge right, right. <laughs> to me, huge to me. And um, while we were there in Kenya, there was a young man who met us outside of you know a place who that where we visited. And when I walked past him, he said to me, "Welcome back." Mm. <sighs> That was that was a highlight right. of my trip, right? Because as African Americans, mm -hmm. we always are mm -hmm. thinking, mm -hmm. you know, where, mm -hmm. from where was I taken? Right. What was my? And I'm blessed. <laughs> I have to push that reach. Right. And so, mm -hmm. as you talk about being a go getter, that's. I don't know. I might be from Nigeria. Maybe I'm not from Kenya. Maybe I'm from Nigeria right. because that's me. Mm -hmm. I have a thought I'm gonna take it to the nth degree if it means it's gonna be a business it might be if it's gonna be a book it might be it, if it's just gonna be an article maybe mm -hmm. if it's gonna just be a devote but I'm gonna take it somewhere exactly. and do something with it exactly. which is what I hear mm -hmm. that you're saying mm -hmm. and don't you think that not just being Nigerian American or mm -hmm. African American mm -hmm. but by being believers mm -hmm. that's how we honor the gifts they got. Of course, know. of course, 100%. Okay. 100%. So was... And I think that's what's first and foremost to me. Okay. You know, um, God first, mm -hmm. doing everything it is that he wants me to do and what he wants me to become, and then family second. Okay. So I've always kind of been the, um, I want to say black sheep. I know my family hates when I say <laughs> this, but I am. I'm different than a lot of my, than all my siblings in a way where I have an idea, and like you said, I execute. We're all successful in our own right, but I've always always been more outspoken okay. and more um, driven in a sense where mm. I'm, no one's going to tell me anything. Now, Not where even. are you in the second oldest? Second oldest? Yes. Hmm. But you know what's funny? I'm the second oldest, so there's two boys and two girls. So my okay. sister, me, and my younger brothers, I get treated like the youngest. Hmm. Isn't that interesting? interesting. It is interesting. Like, I'm the baby of the family, but I'm not. <laughs> but you're not. <laughs> I think wow. it's because I'm the most sensitive. Okay. So I think, you know, people And that's to... probably why uh -huh. you can clue in mm. to what people want that's in true. a curriculum or what have you. You can listen. That sensitivity is a gifting that you no, can hear that way. what people are saying yeah. and, and then create it mm -hmm. in a way that, they, yes, right. that's exactly the same. The educator, us edu that's, we're, we're nurturers. That's so true. That's what we do. That's right. true. That's what we so, do. Yes. Okay. Well, okay. Well. What I mean, we're all we're already down to less than four minutes left. Uh, what would you say mm -hmm. to someone, not necessarily wanting to start what you are doing or right. even what I'm doing, mm -hmm. but somebody who maybe feels just stuck, right? And they need. Uh oh. 
You, you know we could get to turn these phones off. <laughs> it was an alarm. It was an alarm. <laughs> Whoops. Anyway. <laughs> Um, what would you say mm-hmm. to, um, just to our listeners, maybe a minute and a half okay. of get up. Right. Uh, <laughs> motivation. You know what it is. Because you're a motivational it's, speaker. Correct. And okay. you, know what I, on, <laughs> you know what I like to tell people is I think a lot of people have that limiting beliefs. They think they see other people excel and succeed and they mm-hmm. think that it's not possible for them. And for whatever reason, they allow fear, mm-hmm. they allow, you know, their past mistakes. They even allow other people in their family tell mm-hmm. them that it's not possible. Okay. And so what I say is that if there's something in your heart that you are truly passionate about and you want to do, mm-hmm. we have one life. We live in a world right now we see every day life is so short and I hate that we have to have tragedy strike before we get going. Yes. Learn from other people's mistakes. Look at the world around <laughs> okay. you. Yes. You know what yeah. I mean? No, but this is true. Right. And I had a friend just this past week lose someone close. We we're at an event. He got a phone call. We left the event and you know that this person died. Oh, and right. this person is a close, close, close family member. And so it just, it just, again, sparks that like, wow, we don't have time to waste. We don't. And so you don't want to be that person that says, what if, okay. what if I had to? And so you have to look at it, what it is that you want to do mm-hmm. and change that should into a must. To a must. I like how Tony Robbins says that. We always say, oh, I should do this. I should, if it's not a must, it's not going it's to not happen. Gonna happen. And right. so, um, yeah, don't waste any more time. And just you gotta learn how to take action. Set the goals. Yes. Take action. Find a coach. Find a mentor yes. who has done it before, mm-hmm. and and start that process today. And it doesn't have. It doesn't matter how old. Thank you. You are today. Thank you. Correct. <laughs> it does not matter. You mm-hmm. might as well mm-hmm. just put that one foot mm-hmm. in front of the other. Correct. In front because I still have all kinds of stuff I want to <laughs> do. And I'm not about to tell you how old I am right now. However, <laughs> there's <Look> all right. <laughs> there's all kinds of things mm-hmm. that I intend to do and start. Right. Just start. My mom just opened up just her start. own nursing institute. She retired. Look, Look at that. She retired, mm-hmm. and I'm thinking, okay, and she's, she's got gone. grown kids. Grown kids. Well, she's we are in her totally, 60s. hopefully, right. we have put a fire mm-hmm. under you to get going, embrace right. challenge, challenge, experience change. Amen. This has been Dupe Alaru. There you go. <laughs> and Sharon Norris Elliott, you have been watching Life That Matters. Know that your life matters to not only the world, but it matters most of all to God. Mm -hmm. Accept Christ into your heart today. Make that change. You will be all the better for it. We love you. God loves you. This has been Life That Matters. Dupe, thanks so much for being with me. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. Great to have you. See you next time. The preceding program was brought to you by the Holy Spirit Broadcasting Network, HSBN Television.